ain't got no gas in it. Someone once said, experience is what you have two seconds after it happens. You know, I definitely learned a few things on this flight. All the way up until that point, I was having a great time maneuvering left and right, kind of uh, getting to know how to maneuver a little bit better. Every time I feel like I learn something and grow uh, within what I'm doing. So if we can start this thing. Today we're going to be talking about foreshadowing. But first, we gotta get up. Oh yeah. It hurts a little more every time. So here you've got uh, fast forwarded a couple of minutes, literally, of me trying to get this thing going. Um, for whatever reason, it was not going. I was actually walking back here uh, when it started to get more fuel, uh, put it on the rack, and get things tested. So there was my mistake. Um, <laughs> at least one of them. But hey, you know what? It's all about living, learning, and growing. And if my experience in paramotoring has taught me anything thus far, um, it's that within the, the confines of reason, so long as I'm making small mistakes and learning from them, I'm doing okay. Speaking of small mistakes, there's another one right there. Take a look at those brake toggles. They were wrapped around my risers. Uh, obviously, any additional friction or being wrapped around those lines can cause issues. So that's a pretty good indication for me that I need to take a little bit more time, especially on my reverse launches, to really examine how I'm holding those lines and uh, the order of which um, I uh, prepare myself for flight. Turbulence there, nothing too bad. Look both ways before you cross the street. Looking good. You may have noticed uh, Alan's on the ground kiting a little bit. Uh, Mark Rolfing's in the air with me, as is Andy P. Uh, having a good time. Although it looks like they're on the ground at this stage of the flight. I'm just kind of putzing along. You saw me kind of doing a little bit of weaving back and forth. Um, really just enjoying the evening. Um, it was around this point I started to think about, you know what, I really need to pull out my camera and uh, take a look at my fuel tank. And then... I kind of forgot about it. So, um, you know, once again, there's there's another strike in terms of, you know, I, I was cognizant of the fact I didn't take off with a full tank, and yet uh, here I am just enjoying myself. Um, well, hindsight being what it is, uh, I now know. And as I may have mentioned earlier, I have since ordered a mirror 
uh, for my throttle. I've got a, actually ordered a two pack, so uh, just in case something goes wrong with one of them. And uh, I'll be able to either have a spare or uh, have an opportunity to share with somebody else who I, I see that might not have one. Uh, hopefully trying to pass along some, some of that experience that I have gained and uh, ensure that uh, others don't have to suffer the same lessons, uh, but instead can learn from them. Now that is pretty. Look at that view. Wow. Man, oh man, that's gorgeous. Woo! And there's that. All right. Andy's up somewhere. Where's he at? He's gonna be down low. I know Andy. Start this left hand turn. Where you at, brother? I don't see him. Alright. Let's look down. Start our right. Oh. Oh, Mark, you got this. There you go. My legs are actually cold right now.
All right, here is once again where I'm thinking, hey, I don't know about my fuel. I'm a little too low to pull out my phone and check. So let's uh, adjust my trims to the neutral position and get ready to land. So my uh, assumption was I was going to travel down kind of towards the end of the runway, hook a left hand for my uh, base and then uh, come in. Uh, and in the meantime, I was going to do a little bit more carving and um, while I uh, just enjoyed the evening. But uh, <laughs> I was lower than I thought on my fuel. And uh, you are about to see the results. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's one way to get down. Okay, I think I ran out of gas. And at that very moment, my battery ran out on the camera. So I'm fortunate that I had that footage to share. And uh, hopefully you guys can glean some knowledge and experience from mine. And uh, you don't find yourselves in that same position. Um, if you need a link to a mirror, uh, I'll throw one into the description where I got it. It was just an Amazon purchase. Got a couple of them for really cheap. And um, yeah, uh, stand by. You should be seeing them in future videos. That mirror uh, hopefully coming in handy. So hey, in the meantime, stay safe, have fun, and I uh, hope to see you at the flying field. Bye-bye.